Hi everybody! Today we'll take a walk in the park. Eisenhower Park. Originally part of the Salisbury Golf Club, first developed in 1917. Eisenhower Park was taken over by the county in the 1940s for uncollected taxes from the Great Depression. The property was turned into a public golf course and a park for the people of Nassau County. With 930 acres of open space, it is one of the largest public spaces in New York, even bigger than Central Park in New York City. Originally named the County Park at Salisbury, it was rededicated in 1969 as the Dwight D. Eisenhower County Park. We're going to take a walk down the path towards the tennis courts, which there are 16 of, and they're all lighted and available for county residents. Then we'll take a walk through the playgrounds, by the spray pool, and then continuing on through the athletic fields towards the mini golf course and the accessible playground. Now as we walk down this trail, there are day use barbecue areas on the right. They are first come, first serve, and these spaces do get busy on the weekends, so be sure to get here early. There are areas in the park where you can reserve a picnic area for personal parties, birthday parties, family reunions, anything like that. There is a leisure pass required to enter this park on the weekends. So you have to be a resident, but during the week, nobody really checks. The park is wide open, all are welcome. All along the right here in this shaded woods are picnic areas with barbecues, and later in the season, there will be picnic tables. It's early in the morning. It's probably only about 7 a.m., so there aren't too many people in the park. I need a haircut. Everywhere you go in this park, you'll find clean, usable facilities, well maintained. Straight ahead are the tennis courts. There are 16 lighted courts, all recently updated. Let's go have a quick look. This is the building where you go to make your reservations for a court, or you can also make arrangements for tennis lessons. This would be the area that you would meet people, meet your instructors, wait for your court to open up. Let's take a quick look at the courts themselves. They used to be just asphalt courts, pretty rough on your feet, but in the last few years, they were all redone. Beautiful courts, very nice. They're always quite busy, so call ahead for reservations, that's for sure. I love the park early in the morning. You kind of have the whole place to yourself. Me and a few other people exercising, you'll see walking around. I love walking through these old trees. When I was a kid playing here, no joke, these were just small twigs coming out of the ground. They look like little bushes. Now they're full-blown trees. It's a really beautiful place to take a walk. There is a little bit of road noise, but it's acceptable. Up ahead on the left are the main playgrounds in the park. They're arranged by uh, age order so that the older kids aren't going to be running over the younger kids. I must say I spent a lot of time here with my children when they were younger. It's a beautiful place to be. They've recently changed out some of the surfaces, gotten rid of the sand pits and the wood chips and replaced it with the soft, the rubbery ground coverings. You would set up in that small gazebo in the center and you know, I had two kids that were four years apart so one would go one way and the other one would go the other and I would stay in the middle. I'd be able to watch them both and everyone would have a great time. It's a fun little park. Shade covered, great place to have a lunch, meet up with friends. On a hot summer afternoon, when the kids get tired of playing in the park, you can shoot over to the spray pool. Again, recently renovated, it's in beautiful condition. Closed this time of year, of course, we're just coming out of winter into early spring. 
It's right up against Stepstead Turnpike, so there's a little bit of road noise, but when the water is flowing, it covers the noise quite nicely, so it's not a half bad place to be. A few vending machines are usually located here, but not this time of year. Exercise facilities are all over this park. We have a large concentration of military and collegiate athletes in Nassau County. There's a military base just a mile or two to the north. So any given day you'll see numbers of people here working out, getting in shape, qualifying for their teams or for their assignments. Cherry blossoms are in bloom here in New York, even on a cold, blustery day like today. They still look beautiful. Didn't get to go to DC this year. Now, just on the other side of this beautiful tree, you're going to see the home of the Long Island Road Runners Club. They meet here and they have their road races starting here. They organize events and they have a small shed located right here in Eisenhower Park that they call their headquarters. There's some great jogging in this park. I, I spend plenty of time here either walking, jogging, or riding bicycles. It's very nice for that. Now we're heading towards the baseball fields. This used to be a giant open green field just to, you know, with a couple of baseball diamonds. Uh, oh, probably about 10 years ago they started working on this. They put in this pavilion for picnicking, a covered area. Um, they put in, I believe it's all together. There are six ball fields, three hardball, three soft, plus a wheelchair baseball diamond. And then the field of yes, providing baseball programming for people of all ages with disabilities. These are all brand new fields made of AstroTurf. You'd barely get your socks dirty playing baseball here for a whole day. It's a great place. Someone left their baseball. Must be a big kid. Well, behind me, You'll see the ice skating rinks where the Islanders work out and practice. And right behind that, you'll see our aquatic center, which we will cover in a future video. This is the wheelchair accessible baseball diamond in the center of this circular running track. I'm not much on running in circles, but if you like that sort of thing, it's a nice little track. I would imagine you could take rollerblades on here as well, bicycles. Some kids in wheelchairs, I would imagine, too. Right next to the batting cages, you'll find the mini golf course. There are two 18-hole golf courses with beautiful landscaping that incorporate a waterfall, small ponds, and flower beds. It was named one of Long Island's best. The batting cages are right next door. They have nine batting areas with different speed pitches available, all for a nominal fee. Now we're heading back towards where we entered the park, where we will pass by the accessible playground. Looks like we have some aspiring local artists playing with chalk on the jogging pads. Congratulations. Well, this little elephant looks like he's having a great time. He's probably seen better days, but he sure does look happy. This is the accessible playground at Eisenhower Park. You'd never know by looking at it, 
but this park is designed for accessibility for children in wheelchairs, walkers, and prosthetics. Everything seems normal, but upon closer examination, you'll see some special considerations have been made. This playground was brought to us by the generous considerations of the people of Nassau County and the small businesses and organizations. They built this park so that all the children can play, with disabilities or not. These are some of the finest playground apparatus I've ever seen. All perfectly safe, beautiful, covered in a soft, rubbery ground covering. No more dirty sandboxes for us. Easy to roll over surfaces. Beautiful activities for children of all ages and all levels of disabilities. It truly is a beautiful place, covered by shady trees, it's a cool respite on a hot summer afternoon. Thanks to all those people who contributed to bring us such a beautiful, accessible playground. Thank you. Well, that's all for today. I'll be heading back towards my truck. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider hitting the subscription button, leaving me a comment below, and of course, don't forget to hit the like button. My car is parked right over there on the far side of the barbecue area. So I'm gonna turn off the camera and skip ahead. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit the subscription button, and don't forget to hit the bell notification so I can inform you of upcoming videos. Stay tuned for the next episode of Eisenhower Park, a walk in the park.